Let's take a look at some of the PowerPoint tools that are available in Macabacus. In particular, we're going to be looking at some shape tools. Now let's suppose that this box up on the top left has all the properties that we want. And in fact, we'd like to copy some of those properties and apply them to the box down here on the bottom right. Let's start by selecting this box that's on a slight angle on the top left. Up into the Macabacus section of the ribbon, we want to go to this section that says Shapes. Right over here, if we hover over this paintbrush, we're going to see that this is the format painter that we're going to be using. We select this and hit Copy Properties. Now all the properties of this shape have been copied. We now select the second shape and we're going to go up to the same area. We're going to apply some layout properties now. So let's apply, let's say, the rotation. So it's now rotated in the same way. We could now apply uh, the height, maybe the width. So now it's been rotated, so it's identical, and it's also the same size. We could also go up and apply the vertical midpoint. So it's moved it up to the same vertical position as the original box. We still have a couple of aspects of this first shape that haven't transitioned over to the second shape. For instance, the line spacing looks a little different and also the types of bullets that we're using is slightly different. So let's go back up to the same section under Format Painter and now we're going to apply some text box properties. First, let's click Bullets. We get the same bullets. Now let's go up to the Format Painter and select Line Spacing. And now we have an identical match to that first shape. Let's reset our screen for a moment and take a look at how we could do this using a few shapes. First, we select this shape. And we want to go up to Format Painter and copy its properties. We now want to apply this to two other shapes. We select the first one, hold down Control, and select the second one. Now we're going to go back up to Format Painter and we're going to say, let's apply the size. And let's also apply the vertical midpoint. Next, we want to match up the line spacing and the bullets. Let's do that in bulk. Click bullets, and then we're going to go ahead and click line spacing. This was so fast using Macabacus. This format painter is so powerful. It's going to allow us to copy the properties of one shape that we've pre-formatted and then just apply those properties across to all the other shapes on our slides. This is going to save us so much time. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon in the next video.